Hey guys, so um, yeah, let's keep a week, uh, a week off. Um, I can't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I think I was in Melbourne. Um, yeah, and gonna try and work on uh, finishing up this um this sketch. I think we should be able to get it done today. Um, obviously, uh, haven't haven't done this for a week, so gotta kind of uh, reacquaint myself with the with the drawing. Um, thumb <laughs> less manky <laughs> uh, yeah which is good so yeah no more bandages all right um this is one of those things where it's like just need to start drawing and then and then we'll be good to go but hang on i'm just moving my reference around here on the other screen all right So yeah, it's really just um, sort of getting into a bit of the boring stuff, right? Just, just really going through and um, sort of refining everything. Still got a few little details and stuff that I need to kind of fill in. So what do we got here? Get a window down in this, this one. Got the other pin there. Yeah, definitely feel a bit rusty. Like I haven't drawn for a few days on um like on on paper. Been drawing lots in uh, classes and things, but yeah. All right, then. so we've got some side here. As I start out, I kind of break up that line a fair bit, and then as I get more into the into the rhythm of drawing, then I'll uh, sort of not break that up as much. Yeah, so what are what are people up to? What are you guys uh drawing? Got a few wonky perspective little lines here, but just keep pushing through, it'll be alright. Like I've been saying, like throughout the stream, is the kind of the better you get at doing this stuff, the more you're just kind of hiding your mistakes and things. The mistakes are still happening, you just get better at like kind of. You know, adjusting and smudging them around so they don't look so bad. Locking in some shadow tone there.
want to kind of do a window here that just this other one. same sort of railing I guess sort of finish about the same height a bit sort of chunkier and yeah so I think this is going to be like three sessions right so we've done three sessions so this drawing's like six hours so sort of you know a day around there somewhere this uh, you know thinner G pen and just hatching here and we'll, I think I'll do, do quite a bit more of that on this uh, this side of the building doing this like brick pattern over here uh, over the top I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do there yet but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see get some little pipes and things Some little pipes that run along that building there, along the still this uh, little roof part.
might just fill in this section here. Just on the edge here with uh, just the thick black. And as I go through, I feel like I'll, I'll add a bit more of that thick black um, sort of uh, marker ink to things as well. There's this other building behind here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my paper to play nicely there. the building here and sorry going to be a bit boring again as well just so hatching all this section down here is going to make the form really read in perspective For this, I'd normally have my head really close to the paper. <laughs> I'm like trying to dodge your camera. All you guys can really see is my hand and my finger in the way. <laughs> Less interesting for you guys to look at. I'm putting a piece of paper in the way. <laughs> Sorry. So it's really today, sort of just getting into the fiddly stuff and just get everything done. So, yeah. It's a lot watching grass grow, really. One of those things where you just. Have this on the background and come back and see what it's like in half an hour. Let's add a few lines. I'm literally just making those up. <laughs> Alrighty. Matching up on here. Perhaps on sort of up here when I get more up into the top of this building here. Can Sort of make more of a pattern of it as well.
but as long as we have that other form right there's other lines sort of describing that other perspective line like these ones here they'll really sell that perspective and then you can do the sort of the uh, vertical ones you can add those in and they'll just sort of like match in which is pretty cool but we should sort of do the opposite on this side here we could have some horizontal ones kind of here and then what you can do is you can create like a bit of an abstract pattern and our eye finds that kind of quite interesting and quite quite nice to look at right you see people with their hatching they do all sorts of patterns and things some people go crazy in the diagonals and other people just really hatch with the form when you sort of go on your diagonals and stuff you just got to be careful you still want it to kind of convey the form of that surface it's just you're sort of adding in different angles to do that as well right How's everyone going with their homework and stuff? Doing that too, sort of checking out stream at the moment. People are involved at CDW. <laughs> And you can have bits where you're hatching it and sort of not hatching and stuff as well. That can be kind of cool. There's other areas where it's like sort of like a shadow. around these parts and sort of paint in <laughs> I thought painting it was like painting to me Finishing up that window up there. Yeah. And I'm just going to be jumping around all over the place and just trying to finish up all the details. I feel literally everything is all blocked in now. And now it's just a matter of like, you know, taking it to the level of finish that you want to kind of do. that's just like hatching like crazy <laughs> getting all these bits to feel like they're sort of in light or shadow
So I was thinking maybe next week could do maybe um could do some like digital painting stuff. Just some simple stuff in Photoshop on the stream. Just sort of painting like thumbnails and doing uh showing you guys like how you can do studies and stuff. I thought that could be kind of cool and I still wouldn't mind doing some more traditional stuff as well so maybe um jumping back in doing some doing a bit of digital and then maybe doing some traditional Get, get sort of like a little bit of a thicker line around this edge here. I was showing lots of people yesterday design fundamentals class, you know, how you sort of vary your line work on like crates and things like that, right? To sort of push and pull whether a, a form is in front of another form and you can make sort of flat 2D things look almost not three dimensional, but like so sort of they, you know, they can pop out and stuff, right? once you start sort of blocking this in like how loose you can be with some of the marks that you're making putting in Just trying to get the, the shadow shape consistent. You know, the direction that the light's sort of coming from. Just trying to make sure even those loose marks that you're putting in are all consistent with each other, right? I'll make it look cool. <laughs> put them together so once again sort of like you know hiding those mistakes almost yeah. I went over a piece of fluff close drawing all this Japanese lettering which I have 
no idea what it says and shorthanding it. Sorry, anyone that knows what this says and I'm just butchering things. <laughs> Keep going with this light little cobblestone path here. And after a while, sort of like don't have to draw all the lines, you can just sort of suggest some stuff. Which is kind of cool. We're also trying to set up a stream where we're going to do like um, a 3D printing kind of session. Yeah, Alex is going to go through his whole process for how to do some 3D printing. Which I think it's going to be pretty cool. And we should be, I think we'll have that up and running pretty soon. Hopefully in the next week or two. Just hatching some of these elements on the ground, trying to really stick with the form so it feels like it's got all that all of that perspective going in there. Sometimes I'll like to just add some other lines around the edges of the hard black shadow. Because that's sort of what the shadow will do, is like the shadow will have like a bit of a soft edge to it, not uh, just a fully hard edge. So sometimes some of those lines around there will just help sort of transition it into the black part. Poster on here. Looking at the reference.
Bad. This is the <laughs> this is the more boring part. It's fun doing it. It's uh. There's only so many times you can say I'm just hatching a line, going in this direction, following the form. <laughs> but yeah, certainly like with, with your art and stuff, just mix it up what you're doing, you know. Add in, if you're always doing stuff digitally, add in a bit of traditional stuff in there from time to time. Just mix it up a bit. Have some fun. Try cracking open the paints. <laughs> in Photoshop for so long and then you gotta like start mixing your own colors and you can't just color pick the color it's like oh my god <laughs> I hate my life I know this looks like insane but I actually think I want to hatch like all of these panel sections. <laughs> That's my plan. Because I think it's just really going to make it nicely uh, read. Like this is sort of the the shadow side of the building. But you know, I got about ten thousand plus to do then. <laughs> yeah, there's like a little. I reckon we can do this in the sharpie. There's like a cable. Ooh. Go through that today. And we've got like a little bit of that as well. I can't do today. Got another one that was the. That was that. Okay. That's that. To stuff things up at the 11th hour <laughs> try not to have the oh shit of ruin the entire drawing moment which has happened before that's the one downside of traditional <laughs> sometimes you do something and it it is a bit unfixable <laughs> I said as I get this drawing a bit more done I tend to just jump in there a bit more with the sharpie and get a bit more confidence and sort of you know knock in some more of these darker tones Block those into maybe. And this one. 
canción Now I'm like, I'm not looking at the reference quite as much and just trying to make these shapes work like on the drawing. And then I'll go back and sort of look at the reference and just make sure that's sort of all matching or any other areas I can think of that would, that would work well. just have a lot of these areas just sort of suggesting all of those details rather than having every every little bit go back through transition these darker tones through the hatching because all this stuff down here is like all in shape Follow this through everywhere, try and make it consistent. keep jumping around it's like okay let's rock and roll and do all of these my brain can't handle it all in one go i actually think that a lot of really pushing your art to the next level of it is about sort of getting your brain to sort of deal with things and just not it's really easy for your brain to kind of give up <laughs> can really equate it to like um running and stuff right it's like you go out for a run it doesn't matter your level of fitness but there will become a point in time where your brain just decides to give up but it's not actually got anything to do with you with your uh, body and it being tired right it's just one step after the other but your brain gives up sort of you know you hear it talk about in sport a lot of that that kind of like mental toughness sort of thing right it's almost like you need to build that mental toughness with your art so that you're you, you can fight through you know the, the hard bits and then you know when you come out of the side like oh yeah i got that i got that done but your brain just wants to stop drawing lines on just give up. <laughs> so the way I the way I combat that, let's get sore hand. <laughs> the way I combat that is by like just jumping around the image, right? Just picking and choosing my little areas. So doing with the paper. 
it like bounces around I've done that before I've been like watercolor painting and like the paper bounces a bit and it's like i painting over <laughs> brush slips you're done for I'm really keen to like get into some oil painting as well at some point that could be really cool and like I'm gonna have a bit of breakup on these um, I suppose they're bricks have it like sort of 80 20 80 percent sort of shaded and just 20 percent little break up here and there right yeah there's been the old man there's too much tv on at the moment isn't there game of thrones new like lord of the rings series much art on TV it's funny when I was younger I was just I, you know you kind of like a lot of stuff wasn't sort of around and you sort of dreamed of those kind of things like I always thought TV shows of like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and all that would be so cool <laughs> right because you didn't have that it was, just, it was like one movie and then wait eight years for the next movie and yeah, so on and so forth, but so much on there. I mean, it's playing crap on, right? There's <laughs> some good stuff too. Sorry, just drink my cup of tea. Right, we're getting there. And get sore just you know just like take a break make sure you're just moving your fingers around exercising but it's really going to help with like that kind of side of the image there And you know, like, how do you know when to stop? <laughs> I'm just in this case when it's sort of all done. Um, that sort of sounds silly. Just once, like, all the bits are kind of filled in.
ones as much as possible. <laughs> it's giving bits that go out, it's okay. idea what I'm going to work on next. Maybe as well I could do a drawing that's like more organic stuff as well. Some trees and bushes and that sort of thing. Maybe we could take one of these sketches into colour. after a while doing this. It takes a while doing all this stuff, but it looks cool. I also find that when you're starting out, one of the things is like, it's hard because you're not sure that this is going to look good at the end. Like when you're doing things, sometimes it's hard to get really into the details because you're like, I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. And you've got to kind of do it a few times to just be like, okay, I have the confidence that, that this is going to kind of work out. And then you can start pushing your level of like fidelity into the drawing because you know it's going to all be okay right Get there.
try not to get lazy with these lines and a bit goopy little bookends. Try to avoid that. Try to get your lines, you know, as straight as possible. Get the, get the ends sort of working. Try not to sort of get them like that, you know. That always looks a bit sort of unprofessional. So just sort of practice that. Follow the form this way for those vertical panels. It's amazing how that stuff will really help the perspective. session on this one To rush. <laughs> it's like it's almost done, it's almost done, almost done. It's gonna rush through this last bit. So don't want to make too many silly mistakes now. Just try and stay patient. Trust in the process. to go too crazy on the right hand side of the building because I want to have a, it sort of it's more in light on that side of it. so we, we don't have to have quite as much sort of hatching and line work there but yeah on this left side of the building we want to make it feel sort of like it's in shadow and then we're kind of going to kind of get like a one two three read right and what I mean by like the one, two, three read is like, you know, if we've got a cube. All right. That side to be the three, this side to be the two, and this one to be the one, you know? So we can sort of get that one, two, three read. Light, medium, dark, All right? Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. So just doing the same thing on the on the building. sketchbook is always a bit difficult so do I lean on the sketchbook or the sketchbook on the table or
sort of trying to break it up so it doesn't look like it's got a gap all through the but I also think I don't want to have a, a every little centimeter hatched like I said trying to do this 80 20 sort of vibe to things that up. There you guys can see it. The whole thing. Okay. Yeah, if I guess not really. I don't knock cameras over. I also start getting in there with a razor. Slightly going over, raising out sort of pencil lines and stuff. Any questions or anything, just let me know. <laughs> Did start the stream a few weeks ago, so this is yeah, this has been three seasons of two hours for each one. Yeah, I always find that these erasers are awesome as well. Just a little quick get in there. Easily erase the bits that you want to. It's probably hard to see on the stream exactly what I'm erasing. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely some pencil lines and stuff around the place. Just, it was just it, it like makes it ten percent more pro professional not having this in there. Only ten percent, five percent. Yeah, it's just
go to dark on some stuff but make sure it around here as well. frame Got there, didn't take too long. <laughs> didn't take too long to get this that wall done there. Don't give up, you can do it. So ready to like start a different drawing though. <laughs> and what's fair will do us like how do you know when this stuff's done? It's like when I'm sick of it. But I don't want that to be like when it's not kind of finished, if that makes sense, like I was saying. Don't your brain to sort of, you know, make you give up. When is it done? It's like when I've had enough.
it's like once I start doing this, I can't stop. Papers jump around a bit there. And it's like off the sketchbook. It's so annoying on the edge. I was like, do I do anything over here? Uh, let's just, we'll just leave that. Yeah, I just need to do this bit here. Once again, right on the edge of that page. Sorry. Oh, this part over here is in shadow as well, so just try and get these. A bit of um, value to them.
not very much left to do. Literally just patterns on a sort of shadow area. to erase this bit out because I did that fairly recently. Slightly thicker lines at the top of the roof here. finishing too early I think I thought it was till 4 30 but <laughs> now I'm uh, a little rolling I'm sure everyone on here is you can't polish a turd but you sure can roll in glitter yeah now we're just glitter rolling <laughs>
Just trying to raise out those pencil lines that I had at the start. I reckon we might just wrap this up because I think this is all all done. Um, yeah, we'll do. A, I'll put a photo of this or whatever up on the on the socials. But um, I think this is done. And then I'm thinking maybe next week on the stream, what we could do is maybe do a sketch like this, um, but digitally, kind of uh, color it up. So maybe that could be the next little project. I think that could be pretty cool. Yeah, because I'm just literally erasing stuff and smudging my fingerprints all over. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it, guys. So, um, yeah, this has all been sort of, this is all, um, the whole process has been recorded. So if you're just tuning in now, you know, you can watch the whole lot um, back on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for another stream. Okay, thank you.